mistake. Eight month old female is our uh, patient's age. Uh, 7.3 <laughs> kilogram in weight. She was asymptomatic, but referred for evaluation of continuous murmur. She uh, had continuous murmur at left infraclavicular area. Uh, the ECG was on sinus rhythm. Transthoracic echocardiography demonstrated uh, patent ductus arteriosus uh, measured 3.8 millimeter in its narrowest point uh, with left to right shunt and with CV Doppler uh, there was continuous flow uh, with 90 millimeter mercury systolic pressure gradient. Left heart chambers was dilated. Uh, the intended intervention is a transcatheter occlusion of PDA. Thank you very much. On my right side, uh, Dr. Abdullah and uh, Dr. Neslihan. We, uh, we make angiogram in right anterior oblique and left uh, lateral uh, uh, side. Uh, so PDA is can you show us type... Both? Can you show us both planes? We s just see the RAO yeah. projection. Can you s uh, show us the lateral projection as well? Sorry, thank you. Lateral. Okay, that's, yeah. uh, that's good, okay. Yeah, because, because our catheter is four French uh, in Siemens machine, we uh, doubled a numerical uh, number. Uh, okay. uh, so narrowest diameter of PDA is about 2.75. Uh, ampulla is about six millimeter, and the uh, length of duct uh, is about 5.5 millimeter. Well, what is the size of the narrowest part? Narrowest, uh, 2.75. And uh, that is what you have measured in the area projection. That is right, yeah. Uh, in both projections, yeah, we measured and yes, about uh, three millimeter. We was not happy, and then we. Uh, we, we, uh, we did uh, another maneuver. We passed the long sheet into the, and, uh, into the PDA and uh, then we inject. Uh, we recognized it, uh, it almost closed. Well, uh, okay, uh, not, not really almost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think there is a residual shunt meeting, huh? isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and, and what is the, sh the size, size of the sheets? Six French. Uh, si si uh, yes, it's six French. Okay, so if you measure it uh, roughly three millimeter diameter using a six French, it can't be closed with the sheets itself because it's uh, too small. Yeah. So that means it's uh, roughly or n around three millimeter in the narrowest part. That's yeah. uh, uh, probably that what you also measured with the diameter. Yeah. Okay, what is your plan, Metin? Our plan to occlude with a duct occluder. Which one? Which one? Uh, four, to, four to six millimeter. So with, with cocoon device. So you mean the ADO1? ADO1, ADO1. Six, six four, yeah? 6.4, yes. And you think it's uh, large enough? Uh, but because our... Uh, I. We, we, ca we can choose uh, 8 to 6, but uh, the patient's ampulla is about 6 millimeter. Uh, we, we try to avoid, avoid this protrusion. We are no, uh, so, uh, feel good with uh, 8 to 6. Okay, can you, can you give us uh, any informa information about the pressures? Uh, what is the uh, pressure? Pa mean pulmonary the artery pressure is, uh, wa is uh, 28 millimeter mercury. 28, that means yes. uh, nearly normal. But we have a lot of left to right shunt if you look at the left ventricular diameter. But there is a question or a comment from Omar. From the aortic side, because this is a very a short PDA, and I think also not much diameter from the aortic side here. We have to be careful with what we select. Uh, have you get that question, Mitin? Yes, we got yes, the question. Yes, we 
So what do you what do you think about it? Would you would you want to show us uh, again the RAO projection, yeah, which is uh, probably much better to visualize uh, the we silhouette of the yeah. Oh, the other one. Yes, this, this one. Yeah. Uh, can we delete this, one? Mark? Do you have this with the she's in as well? Because no. No. Because it's monoplane. It's monoplane. Yes. Okay. So that's a, uh, that's a, a good a good argument for that. Not Omar, Omar is right. I agree with him, uh, and we all together yeah. with agree with yeah, him. We but agree, uh, but we, we we think that if you use ADO one, we have to measure the ascending aorta and descending aorta pressures before the release the device Risk. to prevent coarctation. And uh, yeah. we have to see the projection in RAO and lateral one to see how it uh, embedded and. Also, the pressure is also important if there yeah. is any coarctation or not. Yeah, there's another question. Mm. Abdullah Metin, I'm uh, Minazan. Uh, yeah. I recommend uh, ADO additional size, uh, five millimeter in, millimeter in diameter. Absolutely, uh, I think uh, it will it be it a good uh, uh, device uh, because it's a. Uh, Disc is uh, one or uh, one and a half millimeter is bigger than uh, waist. Uh, in in small infant, uh, additional size uh, PDA up to 3.5 millimeter. I think they are suitable for uh, uh, also for this patient. But uh, we intend to uh, close it with ADO one. To my opinion, I agree with you. To my opinion, this is almost just like a window five lattice. Very limited ampulla. So we are forced to have some uh, narrowing part, uh, narrowing the aorta. Because the, uh, the device will be protruded into the aorta. But uh, when you compare with the other devices, I think ADO1 is the best option for this patient. Well, uh, okay, uh, we, we got this uh, information. Yeah. I personally would uh, not accept this uh, NGO as a basis for decision making because uh, it is not far enough RAO. So you should go normally if you uh, are going to try to have the best uh, uh, visual, 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 visible information about the PDA roughly to 40 degrees RAO and uh, that is uh, something what gives you a much better information about the length and uh, the uh, ampulla of the ductus at the entrance to the aorta and can give you any answer whether there is a uh, the risk of any uh, protrusion of the of the uh, rim of the aortic side into yeah. the lumen of the aorta yeah. but uh, you uh, have uh, uh, had your uh, sheath in and probably you can have a short contrast medium injection with the sheath in, in an REO projection of roughly 40 or 35 degrees uh, with the axis uh, from the arterial side. Can yeah. you do that, uh, Martin, for yes. us? Unfortunately, we Unfortunately, couldn't do this, uh, but uh, we have REO projection yeah. when right. the before the device released. Okay. Would, would yeah. you like to see it? Okay, then, then show us what you have okay. recorded so far. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> next, next, please. Later. Th that, that's the best way to overcome all these discussions in the audience. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Please show us what you have done, Mitin. Next time. Huh? Okay, sh uh, share with us what you have done, please. This is this is six four uh, cocon device, like okay. amplifier to talk to the one. Uh, firstly, we deploy, open the left disc and then uh, open the waste of the device into the ampulla. Next, please. Next, please. We have an angiogram. We have some protrusion. And yeah. then we, we, we get a device into the long sheet and then repose it. We make a reposition a bit force into the pulmonary artery, full, full the pulmonary artery. Mitin, may I make a comment? That's exactly that what I mean. 
you cannot really judge whether there is a protrusion yes, into the lumen of the aorta because uh, yeah, that's much better projection to answer that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Next, please. So, 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 we release the device. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us what, tell us what you are deciding okay. on that. You have, we see a, a ADO one in place, and we and see so. with the contrast meter injection a slight uh, residual shunt before. But uh, uh, we, haven't done, we haven't we done, we haven't done control done injection yet. We, we haven't done see last together. injection. Okay, we are so waiting. Yeah. So you, you obviously decided to deploy it and, and uh, to, to release it as well. And now you have a control injection of... Uh, which which yes. projection do you uh, prefer? Uh, right oblique or left lateral? Uh, I think the RAO projection Come. would be best. Uh, yeah, check, check, uh, well, check, 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 check. Uh, whether cranial check, or not check, is uh, check. depending on that... Uh, mm -hmm. On tamam. the size of the patient, tamam. I think one year old should, should be good enough with RAO alone. The only thing what I would argue in this situation is a small, uh, it's a small kit, uh, South seven again. or eight kilogram in weight, and uh, the configuration of the AD01 is probably not that sacred. One could have it because normally it should like uh, it should be configured like a mushroom. Yeah? That means that the part in the PA is uh, clearly fixed in the palmar array position. And sure this is, uh, uh, now is this the case, to, uh, at least to my judgment, and uh, we can ask uh, Shark and Joe and all the other in the audience, that the, um, the, the uh, block part of the uh, device is tamam. just placed in within the uh, portion of the tunnel of the PDA. And uh, probably this may have a risk for a dislodgement uh, in this situation. So is there any comments from the audience uh, with uh, regard to that? Uh, Joe or Shark or Omar or Tarek or who else? Yeah, so I, I, I share your concern, but on the other hand, I think it is stable. Um, you wouldn't want to go with anything bigger um, at this stage, and uh, I, I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, if, it, if it does embolize, I think the message would be uh, it's going to go into the aorta, in which case retrieve it from the venous side and not from the arterial side in a small baby. Any comments on that? Yeah, I think Joe summarized it nicely. I have exactly the same concerns, though, as you, but here it looks like complete occlusion, so they've got a good result. Mitin, you showed us a, a nice result of that uh, PDA, and uh, it is total occlusion in any way. We can yeah. see it here, and uh, the uh, lumen of the aorta seems not to be obstructed by the device. Yeah. Uh, uh, probably is you have measured the, the gradient or the, 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 yeah. the uh, pressure uh, above and below the Directly. device, uh, or didn't you? Mitin? Yeah. Do you have any pressure gradient? Pressure gradient, we we, we have we, pressure we, gradient. Have, we measured uh, before uh, after release the device. Okay. Uh, there is no pressure gradient. That's perfect. It's uh, so identical. One hundred uh, and four, uh, four millimeter ascending yeah. and one hundred and yeah. four, four descending. Descending, yeah. That means definitely no pressure gradient. No pressure. And I think yeah. it's a perfect result, and uh, we can congratulate here from the audience. Thank you. Well Thank done. You. There is a small question. Uh, I think there is no need to close the small one. With the AP collateral. The collateral? No, yeah. don't. No, no, no. no. So we finish. Thank you. We finish. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.